Hey guys, Simply Betty here. Do you want to see some baby fish? Because that's what you're going to see today. Baby fish. Baby betta rubra. I got a pair of wild caught betta rubra some time ago. I had it in an unboxing video as like an afterthought. It was like, hey, oh look at these fish. Uh, okay. And that's it, and then I never talked about them again. Today I'd like to talk about them a little bit more. Because it's a species that I've been enjoying a lot. Like a lot. I really like them. I put them into a lovely 10 gallon planted tank behind me. That's a cush tank. It has plants, it has driftwood, it has a pH buffering substrate, which means it takes water and it brings it down to a lower pH. And I just wanted to make this perfect little home for these fish, and it's right back here. And it's great. Anyways, I've been keeping this pair in this tank and they've had babies. Uh, two batches of babies. And I'm gonna take those babies out today and give them their very own grow out tank. Um, so that way the, the original pair, the parents can just stay in there undisturbed because we all know we like to be a little bit undisturbed from all those babies sometimes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I've already gotten started. You can see I swooped up the female better rubra in this net because she's kind of wily and I just wanted, to, I, I saw her just right here, just begging for food right before I started filming. So I just scooped her up and it's just like, it's a mesh net that's just sitting on top of my open tank lid right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the parents, the male and female, and then I'll remove, um, where are all my babies? And then I'll take out a bunch of the floating plants, so hopefully I can catch a bunch of these little babies. So I've really been enjoying this species. If you've been following along on my channel for a while, you might know that I've been having difficulties with one of my other mouth brooding betta species, Macrostoma. I just, uh, it's been a difficulty just getting the male to keep his eggs until term without eating them like a big jerk. So I really wanted to try better rubra because they're also a mouth brooding species, which means that after the male and female spawn, the male will actually hold the eggs in his mouth and incubate them for like maybe 10 days or two weeks and then release them when the fry are developed. And it's just, it's really cool. I really like that. I wish, I wish my husband could, could have done that. Okay, just getting the step ladder here. Setting it up because I'm kind of short. So I think I'm gonna remove all the floating plants and then just put them in a little bucket I have right down here. And that way I can get the, the babies out easier. Pulled 18 fry out of this tank. And there's probably more, but I'm gonna clean up the tank a little bit now. There's probably still some fry hiding in here, but I'll take this opportunity to just kind of go along the glass and clean it with my little toothbrush. Just gives my toothbrush some extra flavor for later. While I do this, I'm also keeping my eye out for some more fry. I bet if I would have taken my fry out earlier, there'd probably be more. So I'm really sure that I got all of the fry out of this tank. I was really poking around in there and I didn't see any little babies. So sometimes when I want to clean up the water and clean up a bunch of like mulm and debris, but I don't want to do a water change because I'm really lazy, I will just put a filter on the tank. In the filter, I have like a polishing pad or a bunch of that, uh, uh, stuffed animal filler stuff, I can't remember the name of. So basically, I'm just letting the water run through it. It's picking up the debris and it's kind of polishing up the water. It's getting a lot of the mulm out. I can already tell the difference, but because I can't like guarantee that I got every single fry out of this tank, I'm gonna sit here and watch it for a bit and watch it do its work. I'm looking really carefully for any little stragglers so I can scoop them up. I let the filter run for a while and it, it looks a lot better even though the water still hasn't completely calmed down. Oh, I see a fry. Oh my god. 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 Oh, my god. oh I got you. Hey, that's 21 little babies. Any more? Sneaky little fry. Now I'll just take the specimen container, which, you know, has my little pear in them. You see them? Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna put them right back in. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to do this gracefully, but there's a light blocking the way of the container, so... Oops, I just had to kind of plop them in. Sorry, guys. Oh, you might notice the water looks a little darker now. I actually added some tannins. Oh, he's all freaked out. Sorry, buddy. Look at all those pretty floating plants. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna put my lid back on. Um, I have a video on how I make lids that do not have gaps in them. They're homemade sliding lids. A lot of species of fish are really, really great jumpers, including betarubra. 
So I'm just gonna close that. Awesome. So I, I'm really enjoying these fish. I feel like they're really fearless. Like even though they're wild caught fish, they're just, they're so tame. They beg right at the glass. They're not really afraid of me at all. And I just, I love the red color and the spots on the male and it's, they're cool, they're cool fish. So most of the fish that I keep, most of the beta complexes that I keep right now, they're bubble nesters. These guys are mouth brooders. It's a different complex of betta. I love seeing their faces puff up and get all huge with eggs while the males are incubating. And what's really cool is that you can keep pairs together and they're pretty peaceful. And like even the babies, I don't think I saw any predation from the male or the female eating the babies. I was really surprised. I felt like removing the babies would let them grow a little bit faster, you know, giving them their own space and no food competition, that kind of thing. Also, I didn't want the larger fry to maybe eat the smaller fry as more and more batches were produced by the male. So I'm gonna let another couple batches of fry get released in this tank and then I'll remove them again. These 21 or 22 little babies are going into like a two gallon cube I have kind of by my desk, not permanently. Um, they're actually going to be going into a 20 gallon high. I just don't quite have it ready yet. I just took out an entire group of females, like an entire sorority, and I shipped it to uh, Lisa of KG Tropicals. Lisa's going to be doing a test for me to see if I can ship like a sorority of beta spawn mates and have them get to a new place, get to a new tank, and still uh, like not try to kill each other all the time. So I'll go put these little guys into their new cube, the temporary cube. The fry will do great in that little cube just for like maybe a couple days until I get their 20 gallons set up and they can just stay in that until they're full grown. I put the male and female back into their original tank and it didn't take them long until they started feeling pretty comfortable. I really hope to get some more spawning activity soon and more babies. More babies, more babies, more babies. So what do you think of this species? Are they cool or what? Have you ever kept better rubra before? Do you like them? Because I'm liking them. Lately at the end of my videos, I've been recommending channels, like other channels in the community who I like to watch and kind of giving them a shout out just for fun. On this video, I'd like to recommend Creative Pet Keeping. Creative Pet Keeping is somebody who I've been watching how many years now? She's super sweet, super upbeat with everything she does. And I'm a little bit jealous of her office slash fish room. It's so jealousy inducing. She also breeds bettas occasionally and keeps a lot of different species, also cichlids. So I recommend hopping over to her channel and saying hi to Kasha from Creative Pet Keeping. Tell her I say hello. Thank you for being enthusiastic with me about these tiny little fish. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being my friends. I don't have any in real life. Maybe I have to like two. I have like maybe two. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> have a great day and I'll see you next time. <laughs>